Hi there guys and welcome back to the Video Hustle and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at live streaming. Now I'm sure a lot of you would have noticed over the last few weeks a lot of people are turning to platforms like MS Teams, Zoom, Skype in order to connect with their employees, in order to connect with their fans. Now in my humble opinion I really think it's important if you're asking for money for people watching your webinars, for watching your training sessions, that you at least up the production value in your product. Now, what I'm going to be talking to you about today is live streaming. Um, and as you can see, this already looks a little bit different than our previous videos where this is all being recorded live. Something uh, I'm still not 100% sure of how to pull it off, but let's see how it goes. What I've done as you'll see, is the video quality and audio already sounds a lot better than what you would expect from a Zoom webinar where people are using their webcams to facilitate their sessions with. So I'm actually going to switch to the webcam and the webcam audio to let you see and hear what that actually sounds like. Um, there we go. There we go. Beautiful camera angle. And this audio will sound like as well. That's the quality of your webcam coming out of your laptop. Uh, let me rather switch that back. So what we've got going here is a professional video camera on that side as well as professional audio as you can hear. Now I am going to show you what my setup looks like by doing by doing that. So there you can see I've got my laptop connected with uh, some specific broadcasting software which I'll take you through. I've got a monitor on that side. I've got a second laptop coming through there if you wanted to run a presentation into your webinar. And there you go, I've got a camera, my Canon 5D Mark IV, my notes and an audio receiver sitting on top of that camera. So that all connects into my laptop right there. Right back to the front screen. Now if I for example wanted to bring in a second laptop with a presentation what I would do is click here and there we go you can see my very important presentation. Uh, I would move over to the second laptop and then just scroll through your presentation if you wanted to. Very professional looking. Wanted to cut back out of that into the front camera I would just uh, do that. Cool, so there we go, second computer and presentation coming in. Um, if I wanted to play videos that I've pre-packaged before, I can just click on the uh, link there. It's just uh, our 2018 showreel that you'll see there. Enough of that. Um, what I could also do is, for example, bring in some viewer questions. Uh, on the bottom left there, John Snow wants to know what software program we're currently using. Great question, John Snow. Thank you for that. What I would do is share my screen with you. Software we're using is Mimo Live. Now, this software really is a beast when it comes to live streaming or broadcasting. What you've got on the left-hand panel here is all of your inputs. You've got a camera, which is the main camera angle, uh, screen record source, which I'm currently using. Um, that is the camera source for the iPhone that I pulled in earlier. And you've also got a second camera, which would be your laptop for the presentation. Here you've got your layer stacks. Um, it's basically like building Lego, whatever you put on top is what is visible, the base layer being that camera angle. As you can see there, this panel here is the preview and the panel on the right is the program view which is obviously the screen that is being broadcast. So if I for example wanted to take the screen capture layer off, I would click live there, it would take it off and then that base layer would be visible. I'm just going to bring the screen layer back. There we go, so as you can see. So here is all of the graphics I've pre-made. Uh, a name strap, for example, if I wanted to bring in a name strap. You can see it animating on there. Uh, obviously that won't be visible because the screen capture is sitting on top of that. Uh, let me just take the screen capture off. And then I'll animate that name strap over that. There we go. Screen capture 
screen capture on so that you can see what I'm doing. That is the cell phone footage that I was using earlier. It's obviously not displaying on the main program feed now because I haven't activated the layer. That is a computer screen from the laptop. The video I played earlier, the questions I played earlier, screen captured. Now, for example, if you wanted to add a professional looking logo on top of your production for your corporate video, click that. You saw that animating there on the right. You can leave that on. Uh, you can also pre package layers, which is probably one of the coolest features of the software. All of these four layers I've pre packaged so that the moment I press T, all of it animates. So if you can see there, you can create a toggle layer where I press T. So that the moment I press T, all four of these layers will go live. That's the intro that I started the production with. Uh, you'll see there, it consists of four layers. The top being a live stream, just a text layer. That's a stopwatch layer that you can start as soon as you go live. Placeholder is just the background and then you've got a music layer as well that also starts the moment you activate both layers. Again, you can just press T to deactivate that layer again. Uh, that top layer is the show intro. If I can activate that, you'll see that. And it tells you how many seconds it's got left before it disappears. Now what this system allows you to do is put out a video project that looks and sounds a lot more polished and professional as opposed to just using your webcam. Especially if you're doing webinars and asking people to pay for your webinars, I think it's important to make your project and your product look as professional as possible. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and if you've got any questions, please feel free to get hold of us. We're always happy to assist where we can, especially in a time like this where there are a lot of uncertainties and freelancers need to hustle to stay viable. Thanks for watching. See you soon.